In the meantime, tonight there are troubling new safety questions this evening about some of the most popular SUVs on American roads. The investigation is growing into whether some Jeeps run a greater risk of catching on fire if the gas tank is hit. Here's John Schriffen. The Jeep Grand Cherokee is one of the most popular SUVs on the road today. But safety advocates warn this is what could happen if you're driving an older model and you're rear-ended in an accident. Deadly fires caused by a ruptured plastic fuel tank located behind the rear axle. The government is now investigating not only the Grand Cherokee from 1993 to 2004, but two other Jeep SUVs, the Cherokee models from 1993 to 2001 and the Liberty made from 2002 to 2007. We have 3.5 million Jeeps, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees and Liberties driving around with uh, defective fuel systems that if hit in the rear uh, can result in a fuel leak and catastrophic fire. The government says 15 people have burned to death in these rear impact crashes, including two children. Remy Walden died when the Jeep Cherokee he was riding in was rear-ended, bursting into flames, trapping him in the back seat. Tom Klein lost his wife after their Jeep SUV was rear-ended. Imagine somebody that you'd been with that you loved dearly for 33 years being burned to death. It's just not a good picture. Chrysler insists its SUV's safety records in rear collisions are as good as those of other car makers, saying no recall is necessary because they're not defective. And safety advocate Clarence Ditlow tells me tonight this problem has a simple fix. Installing a steel shield around the gas tank, which David would cost Chrysler about $100 per vehicle. So he's convinced he's got the fix, but we'll he, see. He thinks. All right, John, thanks to you. We're going to turn.